What's up guys? I'm back again and it's Zam. Uh, so for today's video, I'm with my friend, Ate Kim. <laughs> no joke lang. Her name is Marie and we're going to Koron Palawan! So, uh, ayun guys, <laughs> ayun lang yung video for today. <laughs> no joke lang. So, ano pang gagawin natin sa Koron Palawan? Magkaklaim siya ng mga kalupaan niya. <laughs> <laughs> We can claim the properties. Nila. Actually, she's celebrating her birthday. Wow! Yeah. So, yun, ano lang kami doon, uh, chill lang kami. That was legit. Yeah. And yeah. don't worry, guys, I'll be giving you tips kung paano mag travel ngayong 2022 uh, sa Coron and kung ano yung mga requirements pa na kailangan or kung meron pa ba na requirements na kailangan. And siyempre, yung uh, expenses and of course yung mga places sa pupuntahan namin doon. So that's all for the intro guys. I'll see you on the next uh, part of the video. Dito na kami sa Naiya Terminal 4. Uh, Magsi-check in lang kami. There. Hey guys, so ayan nakapag-check in na kami and then papasok na kami sa loob tapos magkakati muna kami. Okay. Guys, nasa loob na kami ng airport so we're just waiting for the plane to arrive and then um, I'll see you Koran later. <laughs> Kapit muna. Excessively warm. This refers to all gadgets powered by lithium battery or charger. Hey guys, so boarding na kami and ready to fly. Later. So hi guys, kararating lang namin ng uh, Francisco B. Reyes Airport dito sa Buswanga. So finally, um, we arrived here. Um, what time is it? Um, three, around three past. So yes, guys. So papunta na kami ngayon sa hotel. Where? Where? No, I want to go to the resort. Now? Yes, now. Oh. 
Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> One eternity later. So finally, kakarating lang namin sa hotel. And so, kamusta Marie? So the room is okay naman. Um, it's clean and it's... Yeah, the usual. <laughs> anyway, inabook namin tong flight namin last March 17 pa. I think, ano yun eh, um, nung piece of air. So, if a flash ko na lang yung breakdown nung uh, flight namin. So, kaya medyo napamura kami. So, kung nagbabalak talaga kayo makatipid sa travel nyo and you wanna make sure that mas ma-maximize nyo yung budget nyo, magkabang kayo ng mga seats eh. That was legit, man! Yeah, it was. Ano, um, Siyempre, makatipid talaga. Rin dun sa van transfer, hindi na kami kumuha ng private van transfer dito sa hotel. Kasi kung mag um, magpa-private van transfer kayo uh, tumawag ako sa hotel nun bago kami bago nung flight namin it's actually for 4,000 pesos um, back and forth na we opted dun sa shared van transfer uh, mas na makakatipid kayo kasi uh, from airport to hotel uh, 250 pesos each lang <coughs> So, 500 lang yung binayara namin since dalawa lang naman kami magkasama. So, ang laki rin ang matitipid nyo. I think that's the best option if you are planning to visit Coron and um, you are on a tight budget or you want to make sure that hindi kayo mapapagasos masyado. So, that's pretty much it for the expenses dun sa... Uh, ticket and dun sa van transfer. Dun naman sa uh, kung magkano yung nagasos namin sa pagbubuk ng hotel na to, um, actually binuk ko to sa Agoda and uh, medyo napamura din kami kasi nantay ko yung mga discounted rates nila. So, nag-check ako religiously dun sa sa Agoda app para malaman kung magkano yung uh, mga voucher ni, na available nung time na yon for 5 days so uh, August 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 but uh, since I was able to uh, get the discounted uh, rate at that time nakakuha ko ng voucher kasi um, may, usually kasi nagbubuka ako sa Agoda so may binigay sila sa akin na VIP um, discount voucher. So, at that time, ginamit ko yun. So, instead of me paying um, around 18,000 pesos for five na uh, five days here sa Sunlight Guest Hotel Coron, ang binayaran ko lang is uh, roughly 11,000. So, malaki din yung natipid ko. And, uh, yun lang tip lang guys, kapag magbubu kayo sa Agoda, um, i-check nyo lang din palagi kung may mga uh, mga voucher na available dun sa app nyo, sa account nyo. And make sure to use it, to maximize it. Para at least, um, malesen yung gasos nyo sa hotel. That was and, legitness! Um, yeah, was, itong location ng hotel na to, it's actually located here sa Coron Town proper. So, um, mas malapit sa mga restaurants, sa mga establishments, sa mga ATMs. Um, para at least accessible sa lahat. And then, meron din tong um, sea view. So, mas malapit kami sa 
sa dagat. So, mas maganda yung location. Kaya, ito yung pinili din namin. And, yung price naman is um, reasonable naman. Regarding naman sa mga requirements uh, going here sa Coron, so, um, I called before going here and uh, LGU said that um, ESPAS is no longer required but um, mas okay pa rin na mag-sign uh, up kayo sa ESPAS at least uh, you will have a record. Though it's it's not really required as of the moment ha, kasi kaka-announce lang nila na ESPAS is no longer required. And then, kailangan uh, fully vaccinated. So, yung vaccine card, kailangan pa rin. And hindi na actually um, ganun kahigpit dito. And marami na rin nagta-travel ngayon. So, yeah. Um, as of the moment, ayun, August uh, 14, 2022, yes. <laughs> uh, ESPAS is uh, not required. So, yun lang. Hey guys! Um, so, ayan, nakapagpahinga na kami and nakapag-freshen uh, up. And now, lalabas kami um, to eat dinner. So, ayun, mag-iikot-ikot muna kami dito sa Koran Town proper. And we'll check the uh, restaurants. And uh, I'll update you guys kung ano yung mga nakita namin and then kung masarap ba yung food dun sa kakainan namin. So, Chas let's go! Oh, tsaka swak dapat sa budget. <laughs> Good job. Uh, see you guys! So, guys, uh, habang naglalakad kami and may nakita kami yung door. Ayun. So, let's check lang namin kung pwede lumabas doon. Parang may magandang view. Oh my god! Walang sunset kasi um, medyo maulan dito actually guys. But still the view is amazing. <laughs> so ayun guys, uh, bababa na kami to check yung mga restaurants. See ya! Organico um, sa Coron Town proper to. And dito kami magdi-dinner. So, pakita ko sa inyo yung mga food. Um, guys, ano to ha? Budget friendly and let's check kung approve ba to sa panlasa. So, guys, this one is a uh, pork barbecue and 110 pesos. And this one, yung Lomi Nila, how much is it? 120. 120 pesos. Wow! And then, uh, yung chicken fried chicken fries. with fries, how much? 110. 110 pesos. Wow! So, 
try to do it. It's a then as the good and crispy shot. If you guys uh, are planning to visit Coron, uh, please add this uh, to your um, you know uh, go-to place here, and especially for for dinner. Yeah. Uh, they also serve uh, seafood, guys. So check you to guys kapag mag visit kayo sa So ayun nga, guys. Abut ko mga kumita. Hi guys, so kakatapos lang natin ngayon. At patunay na masarap yung food nila dito. So guys, sa dito na yung bill namin. At alam nyo kung magkano lang inabot namin. Look at that. 430 lang. Tapos dalawa. O diba? Tapos, sobrang sulit ng food kasi ang sarap, promise. And... Sobrang, ano, budget friendly. That was legit! Sobrang solid yeah, guys, solid, hot. solid. So, try nyo dito. Guys, so, nandito ako sa souvenir shop. Um, just checking uh, yung mga souvenirs. <laughs> So, I find this uh, string bag um, cool, so I'll buy two. Wow. You like it, guys? <laughs> Sabi ni ate, lahat daw bagay sa akin. <laughs> Sinasay stock ako ni ate. Bagay! Guys, <laughs> 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 nice, hindi siya nagka-credit card. <laughs> uh, G-Cash. Guys, mag siya ng G-Cash. <laughs> Dami ko nabili guys. So since marami yung nabili, binigyan ako ng discount ni Ate. So dapat marami yung binigyan nito para bigyan nila kayo ng discount. Di ba Ate? <laughs> Ayun. So syempre guys, support local. Ayan si Ate, hanapin nyo siya kapag bibili kayo ng souvenir. Dito lang siya sa baba ng Hayahay Restobar. So, thank you, Ate. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.